So what I have here is um, the harness that goes from the ignition uh, to the main chassis harness panel. So what we'll do is we'll set this through under the, under the dash bulkhead tube on the inside of the lever for the tilt. And then there's a section here where this will clip in. And here it plug in there. It only fits one way. You can see that the two wires are more towards the top of the um, channel for the plug. And then what you'll do is you'll route it around the column towards the front of the car and behind the two fuse panels here. And you'll see if you come over from this way that there's two, two posts here. One on um, the box towards the inside of the car and then one on the, the panel towards the outside of the car. So this one on the outside here is uh, the battery power and then the one on the inside is uh, ignition power. So what you'll do is you loosen the nuts that are on the post here, take those off. And uh, this is a 10 millimeter deep socket. I've already loosened them. So you go ahead and put the, you'll see that the uh, the cable has an, an orange wire. The orange wire will go to the harness on the inside. And then once I get these down, I'll come back with that 10 millimeter deep socket and I'll, I'll tighten them down. But for now, they're just gonna be hand tight. And then towards the fuse panel on the outside, See what I'm doing is this is the, the red cable, and I've uh, put some quarter-inch loom over these to protect the the wires. If that hasn't been done already, you're going to want to do that first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the nut with the um, the washer off for a second because what we'll do next is we're going to need to install the jumper wire from the um, chassis harness over to the engine harness, the GM engine harness.